Compiling wine is not an easy task, but my script may help you there. Let's start this in the background. So it's pretty self-explaining. Need the IS386 architecture for the 32-bit build and all the dependency listed here. We need to build this one for the 32 and one for the 64. Then we get the sources from the GitHub repo. And what this comment does is it gets the highest tag number from the source because we need to synchronize wine with wine staging or the compilation will fail. We do the same for the staging repo. This will apply all the staging patches and this one will fix the headers for the OpenCL. Now if it is downloaded yet. Got to wait for a moment. There it is. You see, uh, Wine is looking for OpenCL folder, but actually the folder is called only CL. So this fixes this issue. And then you need to compile the 64-bit build first, because to build the 32-bit you need the 64 build already existing or it won't work. And when you install it, you need to install the 32-bit first and then the 64. So it overrides the files correctly. Well, this is the updating here. And if you are not really interested in compiling yourself, but you always want the last version, you go to the devwinestaging.com into overview and here you have the all the latest builds already online done and you open this and here so this is the latest wine version it should um, match with the latest commit depending on if there are issues or not and see there has something failed so if you want the last skit version you go to the downloads, search for your system and then download the packages and install them like with dpackage minus i or gdb doesn't matter. And you also have the staging build there in case you want to fast up and downgrade or you just want to get the latest version and here also the latest table. So let's let this finish.
and there we have it let's try it it's gonna ask for the mono packages i think you can see when staging to an item and there it is let's let them install but they can already see that it is working but in the end I really would recommend more to download your package here instead of compiling yourself because on Debian based installations it, not it is not that easy especially when you scroll down here and read about that well not all packages can be installed in 64 and 32 bit at the same time and you have to work around that but that's kind of a pain so i really do recommend use one of these if you don't have to and next time we going to compile it for arch, arch based distributions where it is much easier and much nicer it was the first and the get go. And there we have it installed and compiled from the sources until next time